Today, we commemorate the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. We do this while disasters born of natural hazards are causing excessive impacts on people, on livelihoods, and communities around the world, predominantly among the most vulnerable. We, th we see this right now in Afghanistan, and only weeks ago in Morocco and Libya. We observed it too with floods in Pakistan, with wildfires in Canada, Hawaii and Greece, with heat waves in the United States and Europe, and with the tragic earthquake in Turkey and Syria. These disasters may originate from natural hazards, but their impacts are magnified by pre-existing conditions, most notably inequalities. As the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction reaches its midway point this year, we anticipate ambitious initiatives under the theme Fighting Inequality for a Resilient Future. I therefore call on all member states to accelerate action on climate resilience and to strengthen national capacity to prepare for and respond to disasters with a priority focus on supporting the most vulnerable. Let us break the cycle of disasters and create a future where inequality is diminished, where resilience is a shared strength, and where capacity is robust through training, technology transfer, and adequate financial support. That future starts with us today and every day. I thank you.